Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a custom brush in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom brush in Photoshop. One of my favorite things to do, and in this case, we're actually gonna make snow completely from scratch. So you're gonna be able to download this brush for free on flurn.com and then add snow to any one of your photos. So to start off, we need to create the shape of the snow. We're gonna to go to layer, down to new fill layer, and over to solid color, we're just gonna make a white solid color fill layer as our background. Now let's go ahead and create another layer right over top of it, and we're gonna be painting black with our brush tool, and just with a soft edge brush, I'm just gonna kinda of create a, a shape here that kinda of looks like some, some blurred snow. Something like that looks pretty good. There we go. Now, I'm also gonna create a really, really small shape. We're just gonna go real small and kinda of far away, and I'm just gonna click with an opacity about 50%. So we just have this little dot that you can see there, and then we have that guy there. And that's what's gonna make up our snow. The next step is to grab your rectangular marquee and go ahead and make a selection. Make sure you got both of those dots selected. Then we'll go to edit, down to define brush preset, and I'm gonna call this snow template. There we go. So now we have the shape of our brush defined, but it doesn't have any of the individual characteristics that are actually gonna make it look like snow just yet. We'll just turn both of these layers off. We don't need them anymore. We're gonna create a new layer and hit B for the brush tool. We're gonna to right click and go all the way down to the bottom to where we see snow template. So here using the snow template, we're gonna paint with white. There we are. And as I paint around, you're gonna see uh, it really doesn't look like snow just yet. You can see we have our large dot on the right and our small dot on the left. So the next step is to go to Window and down here to Brush Settings, and we're just gonna choose some options that'll give our brush a little bit more of a snow characteristic. So for instance, we're gonna increase the spacing between each of the individual brushes. We're gonna go to our Shape Dynamics and turn on Size Jitter all the way up. We're gonna turn our Angle Jitter all the way up as well. We'll give it a little bit of roundness jitter. Then we're gonna to go to our scattering. We'll make sure we scatter on both axes and go ahead and scatter this. This is gonna make each of these little particles look completely random and that's what's gonna make it look like snow. So now let's go ahead and paint on our image with the same brush and you can see we're getting complete randomization of all these little particles. And that's looking really good. Let's go ahead and turn this off and we can see this is kind of creating some larger snow. Now you can always right click and just change the size. If I go a little bit lower, you can see I'm painting with really small snow here. Here we go, let's go a little bit higher. And you can use the open and close brackets to change the size of your snow. Okay, this is looking pretty good. It looks like we need just a little bit more spacing. So you can change this at any point in time. Just right here, go to Window and down to Brush Settings. I want these to be spaced apart a little bit because they were a little too close there. So we'll just bring up our spacing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and clear that layer. We'll just start again there. Okay, so with our spacing turns up, you can see it's just kind of random and it kind of just shows up wherever it, you know, <laughs> wherever it thinks it show, should show up. And that's really nice because you don't necessarily need to control where every little snowflake goes because you kind of want it to be random. Now, I'm gonna just make my brush a little bit larger and you can see we have some really large pieces of snow that'll be closer to the camera and a little bit smaller, and we have some things that are a little bit smaller away. There we go, and we can choose as much or as little snow as we'd like. Okay, there we go. And actually, this looks really good. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. We can just turn this off and on. All that snow we just added. Now, the last step is to add a little bit of a blur. So we're gonna go to Filter, we're gonna go down to Blur, and we're gonna go down to our Motion Blur. And here we go. Just by giving it a little bit of motion, you can see you can give it a lot if you'd like to, to look like it's really moving. But just a little bit of motion gives it a little bit more of a dy dynamic feel and makes all the snow kind of look like it's falling in the same way. So here's off and then back on. You can see that little bit of motion really does help out. Let's hit okay and there we go. We just created a snow brush completely from scratch. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. Here's our before and the after. 
Now, don't forget, you can actually download this brush as well as a sample image for free on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a big thumbs up on YouTube as well as subscribe to our channel. We'll send you free tutorials every single week. Can't beat that. Thank you so much. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Here we go, done. <laughs> and best of yet, this snow won't even get you cold. It's not real. What did I do? Photoshop. Come on. Just got the spinning wheel of death right now.